everybody. Welcome back to part three of our December Daily. Um, so let's kind of refresh ourselves as to what we've done. We've done the cover, the inside of the cover. We've sewn in <clears throat> the signature with the hidden spine. And so now we're going to start going through and adding a few pockets to this um, and a few tags and things. So let me just grab Sorry guys, I should have had this ready. Okay, so the very first thing is on this page I have went ahead because it required some sewing and made one of these long pockets. Okay, so what gave me this idea was um, you can get these, they call them paper snack and sandwich bags, and they're kind of, um, it's not glassine, but it's, it's just somewhere between a paper and a glassine type bag. So I spotted these, and um, originally... It was to, I was going to do some paper bag journals, which I'm still going to do. I just hadn't got around to it. But um, I got the idea for a long, narrow pocket by splitting these in half and stitching around. So that is the first thing I wanted to share with you guys, is to always be on the lookout for things like this because it will make your life easier. And the great thing is, you can still use these in the kitchen as well. So I always really love it when I can come across things like this. Um, so that was the first thing. I stitched the pocket here, as you can see. And now I want to do a little bit of stamping. So let me grab my ink. And uh, bear with me, guys, because I've got some printing going on in the background. So just one second here. Okay, apologies for that, guys. I, I'm trying to get some printing done for a journal. Okay, so because this has got kind of like a coating, I'm going to use the Stazon ink. Um, and we, I think we've talked about this before, but if you're new here, if you use this type of ink, make sure you've got the Stazon cleaner, because if you don't, because it's a solvent ink, it will eat away at this um, material that they make our the clear um, stamps with. And I can't say for the rubber stamp, but it can't be good for the rubber stamps either. So, um, But the good thing about that type of ink is you can use it on fabric and then it, it should be permanent on that once that just dries. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to have to clean this quickly, guys. <clears throat> okay, so now we can move on and uh, uh, we won't get the this done in uh, part three, I don't believe. So that's going to go there. I just really like the font of that, so I thought, oh yeah. But I'm going to set that to the side because um, that needs to dry a bit more. So let's see what else we want to do in here. Like I said, I'm not going to add too much because I want to leave plenty of room for um, 
we need to do a couple of tags here. And I want to make these like short, stubby to fit that. So, um, so yeah, we're just going to have to see how it goes on, on how much I embellish it. Um, because I was thinking for the purposes of this video, I might fill this one in a lot more than I'm going to the ones that I'm going to be selling. So that's why I'm kind of debating on how far to go with the embellishing on this. So I want to get a couple of tags, three and a quarter, by about four, cut. Did I say three and a quarter? Yeah. <clears throat> Hopefully that's going to fit. Yeah, that one probably won't. So uh, I'm going to run take that down to three and an eighth and see if that'll fit. Because the back one, it looks like the stitching is a little bit tighter. Yep, three and an eighth works. So that's fine. Okay, I'm not too sure. Let me have a look here what's happening. Yep, yeah, that works. So I'm kind of thinking, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I've got a um, Santa napkin. So I might come back to that and decoupage one of those and maybe just stamp. Let me just stamp the other one and grab a little bit of ink here. And this is our stamp set I've got. Indigo Blue, this is an English company, and this is a retro Christmas uh, stamp set. I would really like this. Isn't that a nice one? I use that one a lot on my Christmas cards. I think I'll do the little bird. Okay, got him done. Alright, I try to clean as I go, so I'm sorry guys if it takes a little bit longer, but if I don't, I've got such a small space here that if I, if I don't tidy as I'm going along, um, I just run out of room to create, so please bear with me on that. Okay, so just going to distress this a little bit. I'm pretty sure that other tag, I think what I'll do is, I won't decoupage it this go, but in the next part we'll do that because I don't have everything gathered up and it just takes too long for me to try to, to get it all out. Okay. 
use one of these. Alright, and then I'll find some ribbon later. So that's my thinking on that. Okay, here again, <coughs> this is one of the templates that um, Angela Kerr's got where you can create a long um, pocket in a coordinating tag. So, this was some of the paper I had. I really like that. So I'm just going to add that little pocket. I like the, the tall, thin. Pockets, those are really... Uh, they're just a nice shape, aren't they? And this um, paper is like a textured. It's really nice. I um, can't remember which paper line that was from, but I like that because it's got a nice feel to it. Oh, yeah, I must order some uh, Christmas colors. I had forgot about that. Um, that was one of the things I wanted to do was get an order in. I'm just going to go with the white, I think. Um, I was going to get a few meters of this in some different colors for, for, to finish out these. I must do that today. <laughs> it's funny, when I get on here, I start thinking about all my to-do lists, and, and then the minute I stop filming, it just goes out of my head again. I must get a little notepad beside me here and jot down stuff. So we've got a pocket here, remember, that we made with the music sheet. So I'm going to need to flag that because I'll come back and we'll make something nice with that one. That's pretty close to being dry, so let's go ahead and get that in. And then we're going to have to make a tag for this one as well. And I'm actually thinking I might grab some of my collaged papers that I did and make a long tag for it. And then maybe I can, I've got some printables. And I can put that on as like a focal point. That's what I'm thinking for this. And I'm actually fine with that hanging over a bit. It just adds a little bit more interest again, guys. See, I'm fine with that. Alright, so let me grab my little collage paper and see if we can get a tag cut out of this. Because it's going to have to be a pretty tall one. Uh, I'm going to want to make that about seven and a half by two and a half. So during my cleanup, I've stuck this out into the hall closet, so let me just thumb through. I don't want anything that's too shabby. I think this is going to be my best bet here. That's pretty neutral. And now I just got to see if it's going to be tall enough. Yeah, 
I could use that section right there. All right, let me cut this down. What did I say? Two and a half. All right. Try that a different way. Two and a half. Just going to go over slightly more. Just so I can trim this. I want to make sure I got that trimmed down right. And then because I've stitched it, you got sometimes you gotta go back and cut these little threads. Seven and a half. So I've cut out, or I mean, sorry, I've printed out, guys. These are um, Christmas phrases and words from uh, Cogs, Mrs. Cogs Crafts on Etsy. She's got um, loads of, of things. So these are going to be cut up and put into the journal. But here, these are the images I'm going to use on the covers. And I'm going to be cutting those apart and adding some fabrics to those. So that gives you an idea of that. And then look at these phrases. Aren't those cute? So those are going to all go into pockets. So I'm just trying to think in these as well. Those are going to pockets. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is just taking one of the images like that one. It's got... She's got a little bit of pink, and I've got some pink stitching, so I actually think I'm going to trim that down and pop that on there. And then I may have to print out a few more of these, but um, I think that will look really sweet. Yeah, it all takes time, doesn't it? I'm just getting everything gathered up, and that's why I thought I really wanted um, to do this all in one go. Because as you can see, I've had to get out all of my embellishments, the um, stamps for Christmas, because I don't tend to use a lot of the Christmas stamps. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put that there and stitch it and then put a little a little tab at the top. So, that's why I thought I'm, you know, I might as well just do it all in one go because um I don't know. Now I'm starting to wonder if I really do want to do that. I think I'm inclined just to back it and stitch. I think I'm going to back this with some paper so that it'll be another little journaling spot. And then I've got some stickers. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to save that. I'm, I'm not really liking that. Alright guys, so yeah, change of plan. So that's what I'm going to do is stitch this and I'm going to add this little tab. In fact, I'll go ahead and add the tab now. And then I want to stitch that and I'll, when I'm at the machine, I'll grab the little vintage. There's a sheet I've got. I think it was Kaiser and 
uh, Kaiser Crafts or something like that, and I've got little things I think might look nicer for this. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done that yet. Yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, guys, I'm going to back this with some paper so there's an extra journaling space, and I'll be right Okay, guys, I'm confusing myself, so I know you must be confused. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so I've backed this so we have some extra journaling space. This is what I was talking about. It's Kaiser Craft. I'm sure these are probably very old because I got them uh, half price at the shop here that was closing. So... Excuse me. Okay, so what I was thinking is um, I think one of these would be really pretty because it's a little tag there. Just something really subtle. I don't know, I just wasn't liking that other image that well. So yeah, I'm getting myself confused here because I've got two parts of a tutorial going on that I'm down editing and downloading. <laughs> I've got printing for another journal that I'm getting ready to start. And I'm filming with you guys, so I'm like all over the place at the moment because I'm so afraid I'm going to end up deleting something that I haven't actually completed the task. <laughs> This is what happens to me. I, I really should just do one thing at a time, but I don't, you know, I don't have time to do that. <laughs> All right, so I really, I'll tell you what, I can already see. I better add some glue to those stickers because they've obviously a little bit old. And they not want to stick like they ought to. So yeah, I just want these little December dailies to be a nice little eclectic mix of fun patterns and some vintage and just just a nice little mix. I think that they're going to be cute when they get when I get done with them. I'm so excited to finally get on with this. So we've got that. That's going to open up. I'm not going to do anything with those because those are like I've only got a couple of the big sheets for writing and I don't want to the pockets I'm going to use on things like this. This, I've definitely got to get a pocket made for that. I want a nice pattern. I think something red to come, to pull out of this. Um, so let me, let me see. I want to get something there. That, I've got to come back and decoupage on that. And then we said a nice little tag of some sort there as well. So this, I think, is the next thing we need to do. Okay, sorry guys, this thing's not wanting to cooperate. Yeah, I, I like the idea of like a, a little pocket that's just going to flip. So, let me grab some paper. This is all of my little off cuts from cutting everything out, so I think these are going to just be perfect. Yep, that will work right there. <clears throat> Six by three and three quarter. Let me see, is that going to work? Let me 
Actually, this is perfect. It's our, it's it's already that that is twelve. Yep. So that's great. That's that's going to be an easy one to make, guys. I'll turn that off after I get it glued. All right. Me. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a bead of glue along this back one. And I'm going to get that sandwiched. I'm not going to go all the way. Uh, you know too close because it, it won't want to um, to close if I do that. Now the other thing we're going to need to do is I've got to get this glued down otherwise when that tag is going in and out it's going to get stuck on that. We don't want that. All right. sure that's lined up. So see that will flip. I really like that. And then we'll just get a tag. So that's going to be nice. And then I want to put a small pocket there. Let me just find another little bit that will coordinate with that. that because you got the blue down there so I'm just going to cut that there and just get another little notch cut into that and then get that glued down Okay, so now I'm 
I'm going to put a little stamped. I've got these little Christmas stamps here. Oh, hang on. I bought these ages ago. And uh, I got these at the Goodwill. And they're retired stamping up. And I just thought they were so cute. So I want to do one of these. Yeah, that should fit. So I'm going to do some little tags with these guys on them because they are so cute. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that one in there for now because I've got to come back and do more to this. Uh, we'll do the embellishing at the end. But I do want to go ahead and get a tag. Actually, I'm going to do like a journal card because that's pretty big. So I'm going to go three and a half by... Sure, that's going to fit. <clears throat> okay, where is? Sorry, guys, I've got I lost my phone folder. It's buried. I've got such a mess in here. It's buried up somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to trim that down because that's just too wide. with my lovely tab punch. Let me get that on and make sure and then we can come back. I think this might be a good one to add a, one of those Mrs. Cog images too. Yeah, I think this like the little kids, won't that be cute on that? Because that will stand out against that blue. So let me just, I can see I'm going to have to get some more of these printed out. Because like I said, this is, these are definitely the, what I think, well, definitely, kind of think. <laughs> I'm going to do on the front covers of, because they've got such pretty fabrics. I thought this would be really...
So now we'll have that peeking through, which is nice. I was just trying to think if I've got any charms that would match. I don't think I do. I don't think I've gotten any Christmas ones, so we'll come back to that because um, I want to add some little little things here so I may have to go and print a few things out so okay so we've got this with this tag and that pocket and then we've made this little flip pocket and we will come back let me just go ahead and add a little bit of lace to her. few things printed before we come go on to the next part. So where what else have we done here? We did this pocket and tag. And at this point, guys, I am going to stop and uh, we'll go into another, because we've got a lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and add this pocket. I cut this one as well. I forgot. This is another one of the long tags. So let me go ahead and get that in and then we will stop at this point. Because I can see I need to get a few more things printed out. Before we carry on. And like I said, I, I'm starting to think I might decorate this one a bit more. Um, just for the purposes of, you know, showing you guys. Um, and then the ones that I, the rest of them I'll keep pretty simple is my thinking. So yeah, you can see it's already coming together because um, at this point, this is probably for the ones I'm going to be listing and sending to friends and family. At this point, this is really probably all I would do is just a couple more pockets and uh, a few tags because they're going to want to fill it with with things from the you know the holiday seasons themselves. So, okay, guys, I'm going to stop it there, and then uh, I'll get everything gathered up for us to do probably one or two, well, at least another part, but possibly two, depending on how much we end up embellishing. So, that's, um, that's it for today, guys. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, I hope that you are making one of these along with me. I'd love to see what you guys are doing, and I'll be back very soon with part four. Bye.